now the whole world is looking towards agroecological farming because uh, earlier from past 60 70 years we were under uh, green revolution effect where we have utilized chemical fertilizers and chemical pesticides and we practiced monocropping and really it worked but now it is showing adverse effect even if you increase the quantity of chemical fertilizers the yield is not improving and the soil health has gone uh, below the standards that means it has totally destroyed the soil health so now we have we want to shift towards evergreen farming green revolution to evergreen revolution and the world the world has opted for this evergreen farming is agro ecological farming and we have opted one method that is zero budget natural farming there are so many methods uh, uh, under agro ecological farming agro ecology is like with minimal inputs uh we have to f- do the farming at the same time we should have your own seeds your own uh, fertilizers which won't destroy the environment which will add to the soil health so that uh, uh, agro ecology is a combination of uh food sovereignty and also minimal inputs at the same time bio- conserving the biodiversity and also it contributes to the lifestyle of the humans so there are so many methods uh, uh, it won't say you follow only this method or that method the method you follow should fulfill the all the four things which will adopt the agroecologist so we have selected the zero budget natural farming which totally comes under agroecological farming here we don't at all use the chemicals we use the only cow based concoctions decoctions and cultures and we uh, go for intercropping intercropping provides you uh, symbiosis so that your uh, uh, pest attack will be mitigated there are so many trap crops there are so many host plants and there are so many uh, plants which can uh, uh, provide uh, nitrogen and so many plants which can provide carbon so that it will enrich the soil and you will get a very good output also so uh, environment is protected and the farmer will have food sovereignty and also the soil will get enriched so this is the importance of agroecological farming so under agroecology is we have opted for zbnf because all the inputs are available at the farm level he should have one local cow so lo- with uh, that cow he can produce the concoctions like uh, jeevamrutam ghana jeevamrutam and with the plants around on the hedges we can do the uh, natural pesticides with, with using only the cow urine cow dung and the leaf juice so there is no actually there is no much thinking and there is no uh, point of exploitation of the farmer so we thought this is the best way to adopt for a small farmer because in india 80% are small and illiterate farmers so that they should not get confused and all the input should be available for him for all the times so all these things are possible by zbnf that's why we have adopted this model